Get me that secret. We need no power. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dr. E's Laboratory. Today on our show, we'll be looking at the game Think Again from Yellow Games. <laughs> and so to help us with our attempt to think again, I brought along this extra brain. As you can see, I've wired this brain up to a speaker using highly complex medical technology, just to demonstrate the principles of Think Again. Let's get this brain up and speaking, shall we? Hello? Hello, brain. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, brain? Hello? Who is this? Where am I? Hello, brain. This is Dr. E. I've brought you along to talk about a new game from Yellow Games. Doctor who? Where is my regular doctor? How did my surgery go? No, it's Dr. E. And not too good, I'm afraid, Brain. But that's all in the past. You are here to assist me in talking about this new game. Are you saying that you brought my brain back to life to talk about a game? Are you mad? Yes, well, I am a mad scientist, so I am in fact mad. <laughs> Technically, you are not alive. Uh, I am simply using this brain as a conduit for channeling your essence from the ether. You are more of a generic being, uh, and with a small adjustment I can modulate your voice into someone else entirely. Uh, for example... Try talking now. Uh, how do I sound now, Doc? I, I, I'm feeling all shook up. Wait, wait, one more. Try talking now. Thank you, Doctor. This is wonderful. <laughs> and now back to regular brain. Fine. Great. If you're done goofing around, I suppose we should get on with this game. Right, exactly. Let me tell you how it works. Think Again is a trivia-type game with a twist, designed by Bruno Cathala and Ludovic Mablanc. It comes in this little box here with one of those neat little magnetic closure flaps. And inside is a deck of 50 question cards with six questions on each one. There's an additional six cards with rules on them, and the rules are fairly simple. It's designed for three to ten players and takes maybe 20 minutes to play. So in this game, you earn points by giving correct answers. But these are not necessarily the right answers. It depends on what is called for. Let me explain. First, you shuffle all the cards. Shuffle, 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 and choose a reader. It doesn't matter who gets to read first because everyone gets a turn to be the reader. Hold the deck in your left hand so that the questions are face down and you draw a card with your right. Making sure to cover up this word on the back of the card. Okay, you don't want to confuse people there. And then you read a question of your choice from the card. The Vatican is located in which Italian city? Okay. When you're finished reading the question, you move your left hand up showing the back of the next card. That's this card. So you show that to everybody, and it says the word right. So, the first player to shout out the right answer gets the point. Now, it's really... The first person to speak, you take their answer. And if the card says right, they have to give the right answer. If it says wrong, then they have to give a similar but wrong answer. If they do this correctly, they get one point. And they get to keep the card to show that they get a point. I see you're confused. Wait, not you. That's the other guy who was only half listening. Let's say I read the question, what color are the Smurfs? And I hold up a card that says right on it. The first player to shout out blue gets a point. If they shout out anything else, they lose a point. If you go into negative points, then keep the card face up in front of you to show you to represent like negative points. On the other hand, or you can do it on pen and paper, either way. On the other hand, if I hold up a card that says wrong, 
then the first player to shout out the wrong answer gets the point. But it still has to be similar to the correct answer. So if I ask what color are the Smurfs and you shout out green, you get a point. But if you shout out Luke Skywalker or blue, then minus one point for you. I must stress that the answer from the first person who speaks is the one who counts. Nobody else's does. The question reader chooses who spoke first in the event of a tie. Now, to add a little bit of complication to the game, the cards will either show the word right, or a smart guy, or a green circle, if you're supposed to give the right answer, like that. Okay, if you're supposed to give the wrong answer, it'll either say wrong, or it'll have this red square, or it'll have this dude wearing a dunce cap. Okay, so basically you just go around the table once reading the questions, and the person with the most points at the end of that wins. As an added bonus, some of the words, some of the questions have answers written in blue. And this means they're fake questions, like this one here. Uh, pizza delivery usually takes how many months? So that's like an absurd question. In this qu case, the correct answer is, think again. The first player who says this gets a point. Additionally, there's rules for playing in groups, where the players pair off in teams of two and you play for three rounds. Don't worry, there are rules for odd numbers of players. And that is how you play Think Again. Again. It's really an interesting twist trying to shout out the wrong answer rather than the right one. You'll find most younger kids just like shouting out the right answer. And will frequently lose because of this. <laughs> so you might want to keep it away from the younger ones. However, teens and adults will get a kick out of it. There's enough here to have a really good time at any family function or dinner party that you happen to be giving, I never get invited. Probably the same way you play werewolf. Uh, the, the people would be a good fit, don't you think? Don't you? You can have too many people, and then it gets hard to tell who spoke first. Then anger and harsh words might result. In this case, keep a die with you. And if there's a tie, simply roll a die to determine who spoke first. Then you will have no hard feelings. Think again is inexpensive and gives a fun twist to the normal boring trivia games that people bring out. It's small enough to carry anywhere. So if you enjoy this type of game, then Think Again might be the game for you. Thanks for joining me for this review of Think Again from Yellow Games. Let me... Oh no, the hounds! They've released the hounds! Let me know if you found this review helpful by sending me an email at elliedunsformula at voiceofy.com. Subscribe to the Voice of E channel on YouTube, like the Voice of E on Facebook, visit me on Twitter, Google+, Plus, all over the world. I'll have plenty of gaming, entertainment, and comic book coverage this year, and it should be a lot of fun. Thanks again, and until next time, keep your mind free. Hear that brain? Freedom. He's the brain that's a brain. He's the brain.